It's me, Jokor. Pleasant morning to everyone. Since its inception in 2020, the NTFL Cox Flagship Barangay Development Program saw the emancipation of at least 3,000 barangays from the influence of the Communist Party of the Philippines, New People's Army National Democratic Front. Today, thousands more are in line and longing to be finally freed from the clutches of this communist terrorist group that brought nothing but misery, death, and destruction to our fellow Filipinos in these once neglected and hard to reach areas. From the groundbreaking of the very first BDP project in 2021, I am pleased to announce that 5,293 BDP related projects have either been completed, are being constructed, or are still in various stages of procurement. Step by step, brick by brick, we are fulfilling the NTFL CAC's about mission to bring the government closer to the areas formerly under the influence of the CTGs. But while we have done so much in delivering our promises of lasting and genuine peace and development, we firmly believe that a lot more still needs to be accomplished as we continue to strike at the very heart of the local communist armed conflict. Today, we would like to highlight the remarkable achievements of the BDP over the past three years under the Local Government Support Fund, Support to Barangay Development Program of the Department of Interior and Local Government. Of the projects I mentioned, 1,325 of them comprise farm-to-market roads, 557 water and sanitation facilities, 219 health stations, 201 school buildings, and 290 rural electrification projects. These numbers mostly cover fiscal years 2021 and 2022, since BDP projects for 2023 are still in the procurement process. In addition, other infrastructure and non-infrastructure projects were similarly undertaken. The ILG Under Secretary Marlo Iringan is here to give you the details of the projects later. The COVID-19 pandemic, the election ban in 2022, and the subsequent changes in LGU leadership also hampered the implementation of some of these projects. But despite these challenges, we will show today we still manage to forge ahead. Beyond mere data and numbers, let us look beyond and find the true value of BDP in terms of thousands of kilometers of farm-to-market roads now being used by farmers and local folks. The thousands of young pupils who no longer have to conduct their classes under the shade of trees. The thousands of families who now have access to clean and potable water health sanitation facilities, and electricity. For us, this is the true essence of BDP, to fill the huge gap left by years of government neglect and local communist opportunism. With our strides, we can now say that the BDP is indeed the most effective way to address the root causes of this long-standing communist insurgency. The BDP stands as a testament to excellent convergence efforts among the various agencies of government, both at the national and local levels. These tangible outcomes reflect good and responsible governance and the NTFL CAC's unwavering commitment to delivering the best results of our countrymen. Financial prudence is evident as well in fund disbursements over the years as we ensure that the allocated resources are used effectively and transparently for the benefit of those we serve and who deserve them. As we celebrate these notable achievements, we call upon our esteemed members of Congress to favorably consider and pass the budget of the NTFL Cox flagship program for 2024. The BDP reflects the dedication of countless individuals 
the resilience of communities, and the steadfast commitment of the NTF LCAC to fostering sustainable peace and development following the whole of government and whole of nation approaches in realizing our overall vision for a nation that is free and far from the threats of scourge of communist terrorism. We also urge our people and other stakeholders to continue helping us in this noble endeavor. Indeed, by supporting this crucial program, we invest not only in infrastructure, but also in the hope, stability, and lasting positive change in our country. Thank you very much, and once again, good morning. Thank you very much, Secretary. Um, uh, right from the inception of the NTF LCAC and the SBDP projects, uh, yung call ng uh, mga makabayan black to abolish the NTF is uh, nothing new. No? Palagi na nilang uh, sinasabi yan, palagi nilang uh, ginagawa, especially during the budget hearing. But as you can see, uh, debunking LCAC would mean providing victory to the communist terrorist group because it will alienate the government from uh, liberating these influenced barangays. So essentially, makita natin na uh, anti-development ang makabayan block by uh, calling the, the, the abolition of NTF LCAC at the same time uh, stopping the SBDP projects. So dapat ang uh, kanilang attitude is, sabi nila, gusto nilang tumulong sa mga mahihirap. This is the best way to show and prove na talagang ang kanilang uh, interest ay helping the poor. These uh, poor people from the influenced barangays, sabi nga natin, for the last more than 50 years, they had been neglected and uh, they were denied of uh, basic services and infrastructure projects as well as uh, uh, livelihood uh, programs. Now, with the NTF LCAC convergence and projects through the SBDP, uh, hindi lang nadala natin yung mga basic services at uh, infrastructure projects, but we provided the opportunity for economic development and at the same time bringing a conducive environment to these people. And at the same time, embracing peace and providing new life, especially for those uh, surrenderers. So, dapat uh, doon tayo sa truth. Ano talaga yung, yung interest na bakit they're always calling for the abolition of the NTF LCAC. And we will not allow this to happen because once and for all, we want to attain the uh, permanent and lasting peace mm -hmm. and provide the best uh, uh, services to our people. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Secretary Anyo. Uh, uh, including or putting uh, terrorism or communism into their lesson plan or whatsoever. Uh, wala tayong ganong crackdown, wala tayong ganong program. Uh, what we wanted is actually uh, including the uh, peace initiatives into the uh, education sector, meaning to say uh, what we want our, our uh, uh, children and our youth will be knowledgeable about uh, peace initiatives and uh, uh, peace uh, process. But walang ganyang crackdown uh, against teachers. Sir, safe to say that it was only propaganda of several leftist groups? Well, dapat kasi i-check muna natin kung saan pinanggagalingan ng mga pronouncement nila. Sabi nga kanina ni, uh, ni ADG Jonathan Malaya, na like for example for the uh, SBDP marami na silang sinasabi pero hindi pa nila nakikita yung full report ng COA at yung report ng COA actually ay uh, hindi pa rin naman final no so uh, we are all ready to uh, our LGUs are ready for any audit and we can always say na everything is done according to the process and there is no missing fund no so many allegations from the Makabayan block or the uh, uh, leftist uh, block, but uh, it is to 
sabi nga, no, dapat the burden of proof should be coming from them. No? They should be providing uh, details, facts, information. Allegations alone will not stand. And sometimes uh, it's not really uh, advisable to answer any allegation because you're just actually, you know, finding the issue. Sir, one more question from my end. Sir, how do we measure the effectiveness of the BDP? Do we actually have a count as to whether or not the recruitment of potential communist rebels have already decreased in the past two years? Yes, uh, first of all, the best gauge in how the, the SBDP are effective or not is asking the beneficiaries themselves, you know, the people from the barangays. Kasi sila yung mismo magsasabi kung paano nabuha, nabago ang buhay nila at paano gumanda. No? Nakaroon ng mga uh, economic opportunities, agricultural production. Now, uh, on the other aspect na uh, kung sabi natin na kung paano siya nakakontribute sa, sa reduction ng CPP and PA, well, from the start of the NTFL Cup, we have uh, 89 guerrilla fronts. Uh, we, are, we are able to clear 60 guerrilla fronts, and now there are only remaining uh, 19 weekend guerrilla fronts and only one active. And the strength of the armed group is reduced to about 1,800 or less. Uh, so, makita natin uh, from the uh, in the highest number nila na 28,000 before, it's now down to 1,800, and there are a lot more uh, coming to the fold of the law. At ang pinaka nakita natin, sabi nga na game changer ay ang SBDP. Uh, we, I came from the military service before, from lieutenant up to naging general. Uh, I was involved in a uh, fight against the CPP and PA, particularly in the field, no? And we did a lot of, of efforts there. Pero ang kulang yung SBDP. Because every time na matapos naman yung operation, uh, even CMO or civil military operation, yung issues na sinisigaw ng mga NPA na walang karsada, walang eskwelahan, walang kuryente, uh, nandun pa rin eh. No? Pero ngayon, hindi na magawa ng NPA, ng CPP NPA yan. Dahil pag pumunta sila sa mga dating barangay na under-influence nila, may mga magagantang pumumuhay na yung mga tao doon at may mga karsada at eskwela na. So wala nang issue sila na magagamit doon. No? Pati yung ating mga magsasaka through the help of the Department of Agriculture ay nga, naging more productive. So in other words, we focus on solving the root cause of uh, insurgency in those areas rather than focusing on military solution or police solution. And we believe that this is the, really the best effective way to finally eradicate the communist insurgency. Sir, just a follow-up question on the detail. Where is the one active guerrilla front located and where are the 19 weekend guerrilla fronts located? Yung ating uh, natitirang uh, active uh, guerrilla front ay uh, Northern sa Northern Samar. No? Northern Samar. At saka mayroong isang uh, binabantayan natin dito sa Bicol area. Now yung mga weekend guerrilla fronts ay uh, labing siyam ito. No? Uh, meron tayo dito sa North Abra. Meron sa Ilocos. Uh, meron sa Southern, meron pa rin tayo sa Southern Tagalog Regional Party Committee dito sa Mindoro. Meron pa rin tayo sa Negros, sa Panay. Uh, meron tayo sa natitira dito sa Northern Mindanao, uh, particularly sa area ng uh, Port Division. At uh, uh, more or less, uh, yun yung mga areas na mga naiiwan natin. Uh, labing siyam na weekend guerrilla fronts. Sir Nate, uh, as uh, previously stated, ito ay hindi pork barrel uh, fund because these are 
itemize or budget line items. Bawat uh, barangay na lalagyan ng BDP funds ay talagang dumaan sa tamang proseso mula doon sa pag-survey ng kailangan ng barangay, pag-decision nila, pag pagsama doon sa local uh, development uh, program nila, going up, and better also by uh, the NTF LCAC, ay uh, may proseso yan. So, we are very much confident that we will be able to depend the budget uh, for 2024, a total of 864 barangays mm -hmm. for 2024. At uh, makikita naman dun sa mga previous uh, allocation from 20, uh, 2021, 2022, 2023, kahit uh, anong oras yan i-audit, inspect mm -hmm. ng ating COA, Mm -hmm. o kahit ng uh, ibang third-party audit group, nakita natin kung saan pumunta yung mga pondo dyan. At kung meron mang uh, makikitang butas dyan, we are also ready to file case to any of the LGUs who would not be yes. able to justify the, the disbursement of spending of funds. No? We are very much transparent here because what is at stake are what is good for our people. All right. Thank you for this opportunity to extend our congratulations and gratitude to the members of the National Task Force uh, to end the local communist armed conflict. Yung mga agencies, uniform services, and our local government uh, units who are uh, silently working uh, for the success and to finally end this communist insurgency. And also let me thank stakeholders uh, particularly the media, for participating today and bringing out and helping us to uh, tell the truth to our people uh, on what the government is doing to finally finish this uh, communist insurgency. And finally, of course, our strong appeal to the members of the Congress and Senate to please support us and provide funds for the uh, SBDP for 2024. <coughs> It's not only that uh, we are going to uplift the lives of our people in those uh, isolated and influenced barangays once under the control of the CPP and PA, but we are now in the uh, point of history that we are really uh, going to finish this uh, long menace of uh, insurgency and finally uh, we'll be able to have a peaceful and progressive country. Thank you and All right. Thank you very uh, much. Good morning.